Thank you, Chair. Thank you, colleagues. Nelson Mandela once famously said that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. And Ahmed Mansour and the handful of human rights defenders uh, in the United Arab Emirates found a way every single day to conquer fear, knowing full well that retaliation could be imminent. Every day they, de they devoted their lives to ensure that fundamental rights and democratic freedoms take precedence in the UAE. But the Emirati regime could not conquer its own fear of Mr. Mansour, sentencing him to a decade of solitary confinement. His appealing treatment must not go unanswered. His tragic story can be an inspiration for all of us, I think. Universal values that we all take for granted remain such a distant dream for far too many societies. This house will never be silent in the face of so grave injustices. And let me be very clear. Those responsible for the atrocities against Emirati activists will be included on our own human rights sanctions list. And not even the army of paid UAE lobbyists will uh, stop us from doing that. This is what Europe needs to do. We must start using the instruments uh, we have in our own foreign policy toolkit in order to shape the world we live in much more efficiently. Because we can do that, we have the power to do that. And sanctions are only one part of the equation. We need to ensure that EU member states will never supply authoritarian regimes with surveillance technology that can be used to oppress their own citizens. Because colleagues, our duty to step up for those who fight for freedom cannot be confined to our internal borders. Thank you very much.